This is a potential short trade setup for GUUG, Google Alphabet, and we are on such a significant multi-day, multi-week reaction price support of 25.1978, and I truly believe a crack below that level on a solid daily and or hourly two hour four hour close we'll put in a uh, likely sell signal and we've got some beautiful candlestick patterns here uh, off the weekly and off the daily first off we've got this beautiful three outside down bearish continuation pattern um, that's as good as you can get when you talk about charts and the uh, longer term time frames usually always overriding the shorter term trades uh, time frames on the uh, smaller time frame charts that's what you get that's a three outside down but bearish pattern duration pattern followed by three uh, downside gap three method pattern here off the daily and um, amazing reaction here just uh, you know anything's possible if you're bullish on Google Google being the largest if not the second largest component of the communication sector if you are bullish this is your time to buy and uh, you know you could set some stops below those previous lows right around that 2490 a little bit more give it some room below that 2492.73 uh, previous lows that we had taken out I'd, I'd start setting up some uh, stops below that 2486.53 would be a good ideal but again if you're bullish hey this is this is uh, at least a backfill of that 2674.34 for a five percent pop up to that 2018.09 for a 10.3 percent gain up to the 2938.55 resistance for a 15% rally and uh, a shot at uh, taking out the all-time highs above 3027.18 for an 18.7% uh, rally there. I'll be patiently waiting for a uh, solid break below that 2519 uh, and or maybe set up some straddles but as far as, uh, as, far as the uh, probability goes in my opinion we've got a um, very negative divergences and uh, bearish convert, convert, uh, divergences that really have uh, constructed in all three indicators and have been developing for quite some time going back all the way since uh, 2020 of uh, August so again these are just very large divergences in my opinion and I, I, I do favor a little bit more downside depending on uh, how much consolidation we get throughout the next uh, few weeks or months but we already have crossovers on both the uh, momentum indicators here on the MACD and oscillator with uh, punctures below their uh, zero lines. So the uh, bearish scenario, uh, in my opinion, outweighs the uh, bullish uh, with rising rates. They're just going to uh, further uh, further put down uh, the hammer on some of these larger tech stocks. So we'll see for uh, a break below that 25.1978 and I believe there'll be a rush for the exits.